Hi, my name is Mark DiNicenzo, and today I'm going to be making Eggs Benedict. Breakfast was always very important to my family growing up. My mom would have a huge breakfast waiting for us in the morning. Um, eggs, bacon, pancakes, waffles, whatever we wanted. Um, eggs Benedict was always her favorite, so this one's for her. So let's get started. First, I'm going to separate two egg yolks from the egg whites. To do that, Good. second. Those egg whites you can save. I'm going to wash my hands now. So now we have our egg yolks. This is part of a mise en place, which means getting everything all together. It means everything in the right place, literally. Um, so I got my egg yolks here, I got some water, a whisk, and a bowl. Um, first we'll start whisking this just to break it up. Notice how thick it is. So I want to add a little water just to thin it out. Now it's a little runnier. So here we're going to cook the egg yolks over the double boiler. I also have some butter melting here. This is whole butter. That's why it's kind of foamy on the top. That's the milk solids that's separated, but it's fine. Normally you'd use clarified butter, but this works just as well. There's water in this pot. It's on a light simmer. Um, you don't want it too hot or the eggs, egg yolks will curdle. Get it started here. Just constantly whisking, just trying to cook these yolks. If it starts getting too hot, you can just take it off, stir it a little bit. It's hard to tell someone how long to do this, you kind of just have to get the feel for it. So see it's a little thicker, a little lighter. So I'm going to take this off the heat, bring it over. So here we've taken it off the heat. You don't want it on the heat when you're adding the butter because the butter will separate. So hold well. Here is our butter, it's about 8 ounces, uh, melted. So you're just going to start slowly whisking it in. You want to go real slow because you don't want to break it. Just add a little at a time and keep stirring. You'll notice it getting thicker. Let's see where it's at right now. It's getting a lot thicker. Just got to keep going until all the butter's gone. And start pouring faster once you have the emulsion here. Sauce really makes your arm tired. This it is a little too thick. A little water. Actually, got my lemon juice right here. I'm just gonna add that. Just to thin it out a little bit. I don't wanna break it. Right. So there you have that thick emulsion of egg yolks and butter. So I'm going to season it, some cayenne pepper and a little salt, some salt, I'll be stingy with the salt, a little dash of cayenne, not much, just kind of want it to be a background flavor. Pretty good, need a little more salt. Lemon's good. Just That's good. Now I'm just going to cover this, um, put it back on the stove, not on the heat, but just to keep it warm. So I'm going to poach some eggs. You can see, if you can see of this here, there's a lot of bubbles going on. Got to bring it down a little bit because you want a light simmer. Another thing that works is you add a little vinegar to the water and that helps hold the whites together. Another easier thing to do, crack the egg into a bowl before you, before you uh, put it into the water. A little shell fell in there, you gotta get that out. Make a little whirlpool and then drop the egg right in the middle. Drop the second one in. 
I like to cook these for about five minutes because I don't like runny whites. And this is kind of similar of how you would cook a soft boiled egg, but this is just not in the shell. There's one that's done. That's what they look like when they're done. Okay, so with my Benedict, I'm going to be doing prosciutto and some asparagus. I already blanched these asparagus earlier, but now I'm just going to warm them up in some oil. And the blanching before keeps them really nice and green like this, so they look really good. These are just starting to blister. That's good. Toasted English muffins here, prosciutto, layer that on, and a couple of stalks of asparagus, poached eggs, and we have our hollandaise here. Benedict.